The village of Bryce is just a dot on the map, about 64 acres. 112 people call it home. Last year, the village's police chief says his department issued nearly 4,300 tickets. That is 38 tickets for every man, woman, and child who live in that village. Tonight, there's a push to slam the brakes on how many tickets they write. Here's NBC4 investigator Tom Susie. Mike and Colleen, a major push with state lawmakers, law enforcement, and union officials doing the pushing. It's inappropriate, and it's something that we simply cannot tolerate. Ohio State Representative Herschel Craig says enough is enough. Village of Bryce Police Chief Bud Botchmoyer tells me you got to be driving at least 10 over to get a speeding ticket. I don't honestly believe that we are going overboard with what we're doing. Do you know how many traffic citations your department wrote last year? 4,270 paid citations. What does an average ticket go for? 125. Do the math. We're talking more than a half a million dollars in citations. We are known for working traffic. Outsiders call it a speed trap. If you look at the definition, it implies that law enforcement is hiding behind something or they are changing the speeds by a mechanical means and we are doing neither. Really? You were hiding these cameras inside of traffic barrels at one time. We put a traffic barrel over the camera to protect it from the weather. That's not sneaky? We were still sitting there invisible. In 53 years behind the wheel, Linda Willison says she's received just one traffic ticket. It happened right here in the village of Bryce. The sign that says you're entering the 25 mile per hour zone. I hit my brake. Since there's no advance notice of the speed change, the village of Millersport councilwoman was too late. A village of Bryce police officer snapped these images from a handheld speed camera. It's uh, a laughing stock and brings discredit upon us as a, as, an, uh, as a profession. Columbus police officer Jason Pappas is president of Ohio Fraternal Order of Police Local 9. We do not support them in any way, shape, or form and hope that we can work with the legislature to remove them from being able to have any enforcement activities out there. What kind of crimes are you responding to in the village of Bryce? I've had domestic issues. I've had unhappy unhappy customers at businesses. When is the last time the village of Bryce has arrested someone? I have not arrested someone since I took over as chief. And when was that? December of 2015. Do you think the village of Bryce needs its own police department? They absolutely have the right to their own police department. The state's largest police union and lawmakers say the village abuses that right when they issue nearly 4,300 speeding tickets in one year. And that is a disservice to the motoring public and it's a disgrace to law enforcement. Representative Herschel Craig is co-sponsor of House Bill 125. The bill's intent is to prevent small towns like the village of Rice from establishing its own traffic fines and overseeing appeals. That business would be handled by municipal and county courts. It's not good public policy. It's not something so, uh, certainly that we can uh, uh, tolerate or support. Chief Botchmoyer says he doesn't tolerate speeders. If you don't want a ticket, slow down. If you can't slow down, don't drive in my town. Now remember at the top of my investigation, I told you how the village of Bryce raked in about a half a million dollars last year, more than a half a million in citation revenues. Well, the village gets half. The company that provides the village with speed cameras, mails out the citations and handles the billing gets the other half. Our investigation, not over. I'm NBC4 investigator Tom Susie.